Let me start this video with a comment from a local resident in Potsuli. I already left a comment like this in the past. As a student with no money, I can't leave the red zone. It's not easy for many of us. I also think we will have a bigger quake sooner or later. Pray for my soul and for all of us living in this difficult place. Thank you, B3. We will do that. Campi Flegri is rattling in Naples in Italy, the super volcano, and the mayor of Pozzuoli, where we have the epicenter of this massive earthquake swarm with a magnitude 4.0 that tops the magnitude so far. The mayor of Pozzuoli says we have everything under control. Does he? because his citizens and the residents say something else. And I want to, before we look at all the data and graphics and see what's really going on, I want to let you know what one resident said and it's kind of gives you shivers down your spine and it's also sad. By the way, after the 4.0, another 3.3 has happened and another in the high two ranges. So it still keeps coming and we have just Within the last 24 hours, 119 earthquakes. And since August 29th, over 200 earthquakes. Absolutely crazy. So the resident has posted this and has said, let's hope for the best. But what the resident then said, it's crazy. Earthquake hit yesterday 4.0 at 4.55 p.m. Then she posted, this morning, railway service suspended, trains and subway, all the stuff is canceled. And then she writes, so, in case of emergency, question mark, question mark, what are the escape routes? This is absurd, just silence from the officials, exclamation marks. You have abandoned us. You live, we live with anxiety and fear. You have abandoned us. And the mayor of Pozzoli says, situation is under control. Can you really control a super volcano, guys? No. And I want to also let you know what a seasoned scientist that works for the official entity, the INGV, has said, and he, stressed he said what i'm saying right now i'm not saying this in my official position as a member of the ingv i'm saying this as me as a scientist and he has warned about this for years volcanologist giuseppe di natale just said today in an interview the situation at the supervolcano is unstable with the parameters increasing that's the land rise, that's the earthquakes, that's the magnitudes, that's the gas emissions, that's the temperatures. So this new seismic swarm, again, I'm always keep saying this is going on continuously, basically. And that's what I also read in the comments from locals that live there. They're saying we're shaking continuously. But by the way, the government has just announced the current earthquake swarm has ended. Why? Today, there was just a 3.3. If you have a few hours without an earthquake, that means it has ended. I don't believe that. If you look at the list of earthquakes, I'll quickly show you the list before we continue what Giuseppe Di Natale just said, because I really think you need to see this. So look at the list. September 1st, 522 p.m., 3.3. And then it goes down. This is all September 1st, 1 1.4, 1.0, 1.9, 1.7, 1.4, 2.7, 1.0, 1 1.8. And the list goes on all September 1st. We had the 4.0. And then we had all these other earthquakes all September 1st, 2.3, 2.3, 2 2.8. So many 2.5. This is all one day. And then it continues, 2.8 on the 1st. 31st August, we have all these earthquakes. I'm just highlighting the strong ones, 2.7, 3.3, 3.3. But look at that, it continues. There's earthquakes on the 30th, the 29th, the 28th, the 27th, 26th, and I can go back and it's even on the 25th. So, but what I want to show you is if we look here, 
this is still September 1st. Yeah, there might not have been an earthquake in the last few hours, but this can continue. There's just, this is, I think we're still in this massive event. So now let's hear Giuseppe di Natale. We know that new seismic swarm with which led to a magnitude 4.0 that hasn't been seen in weeks. We haven't had a four in weeks. Um, has once again alarmed the population big time. And we've had homes collapse, we had a landslide, we had evacuations of homes. I'm going to talk about this later in the video. So Professor Giuseppe Di Natale, a seasoned volcanologist and the research director at the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, spoke to the press about the current situation. So he is someone that we can really take serious because he works there, he lives there, and he surveils that monstrosity every day. And he says, I'm not expressing the opinion of the institute that I'm working with. I'm speaking in a personal capacity based on my scientific knowledge. Of course, his scientific knowledge is the same when he works for the institution, but it seems he's not able to say it maybe in that way. So he says, I'm going to describe what has been happening at the Campi Flegre recently. And he was asked, he says, there's no substantial changes underway in the dynamics of the whole thing. He says, well, regarding the earthquakes, I've always said it's linked to the progressive increase in pressure. When you hear that, talking about a volcano, that is not good. He said that pressure is in the subsurface and it produces both the ground uplift and the earthquakes. If you're blowing up a balloon underneath the crust and you blow it up, you blow it up, it stretches until it reaches the breaking point and then the rocks are getting brittle and they break and we see these earthquakes. And he says, obviously, since 2005 until today, the ground has been rising 1.5 meters, like four feet and it's continually increasing. And he says that is a sign that internal pressure has increased dramatically and is increasing progressively. So do you understand what he is saying? And he also says when he compares it to the last event that has probably seen a magma intrusion in the 1980s, he says the seismicity today is much higher than in the 1980s and has increased steadily since 2006. When the event happened in, in the 1980s, the land rise was half a meter less than it is now. Now it's way more. So he says this means that the internal pressure on the rocks between a depth of zero to four kilometers, that's roughly 2.7 miles, has now reached levels never experienced in past centuries after the 1538 eruption that has formed Monte Nuovo that produced a phreatic eruption without magma and the magmatic eruption then followed. This is big what he is saying. And then he further says the current dynamics, as I told you, they have not changed, but the phenomenon is progressing. The uplift continues to increase. The earthquakes are increasing on average, both in frequency and in maximum magnitude. In 2025, we already had the highest ones ever recorded to magnitude 4.6. Um, that's the highest experienced in over 400 50 years since the Monte Nuovo eruption. So he says, therefore, the situation is by no means stationary. All parameters are constantly increasing. He was asked then by a reporter, should we expect further phenomena of this type, even though we obviously know that earthquakes cannot be predicted? And he says, and that is very interesting, he says, in reality, it's not true that earthquakes can't 
be predicted. The increased seismicity at Campi Flegri was predictable and, and I predicted it since 2017. He says, of course, we can't predict the exact moment that an earthquake will strike. But at Campi Flegri, we know perfectly well that until the ground uplift stops and it doesn't stop right now, we can expect further earthquakes like those that we have already experienced and even stronger up to magnitude five. And that is catastrophic for the greater Naples area with more than 6 million people because structural engineers that lived through earthquakes in Naples where devastation happens say, if we have a five buildings will collapse, so many people will be lost, it will be unimaginable. We're talking about hundreds of thousands. That is what they're saying. So the earthquake alone is dangerous enough. And by the way, they found out in a new study that when Vesuvius erupted and destroyed Pompeii, that a lot of people were already lost by the earthquake that preceded the eruption because the buildings were collapsing on them. And that is the danger here as well again. He further says, we also know that stronger earthquakes, let's say magnitude four and above, although rarer than the smaller ones, are highly likely to occur within a few weeks or a month of a previous strong earthquake. So it could be that we're seeing more of the force. And he says, in reality, therefore, we basically know everything we need to defend ourselves from these earthquakes, at least. And knowing even the exact moment when they occur wouldn't even be that useful because we already know that they will be coming. He says, because the only way to defend against earthquakes while knowing full well the, the potential maximum magnitudes and in this case also the most likely return periods of these earthquakes, which are very short, he says. And here it comes, is to abandon or to reinforce buildings that are at risk of collapsing in that type of earthquake. Of course, if there's a phreatic eruption, which Quite a few scientists say that's a possibility. That doesn't help you either, right? So several fam families were evacuated from their homes, especially along Via Napoli, where we had the epicenter in the Pozzuoli seafront area, because there's an instability of a cliff and th that has partially collapse and now they're conducting inspections of buildings and roads in the Campi Flegre or on the Campi Flegre we have to say. So the evacuations took especially place in the waterfront area. That's the Via Napoli that leads along the water. And then engineers found a stability problem on a private ridge and also recommended evacuation from there. The municipality of Pozzuoli has began preparing waiting areas and a hub for residents um, who may need them. In Pozzuoli, they found cracks on the road surface on Via San Francesco, also in the Lungomare area, where the Cumana line, the railroad line, with these tunnels, I recently reported about this, even the new one that they're building right now is not built to earthquake code, so both tunnels are at risk of collapsing. Crazy. So they say they have installed monitoring equipment there to ensure the safety of public transport. All the officials have now had a meeting, whatever the outcome of that is. They have also closed these tourist attractions, the archaeological parks, because the magnitude 4 earthquake um, incidentally occurred near the Roman amph amphitheater um, of Pozzoli at a depth of, now they have changed it from 300 meters, that was, that was crazy shallow, to over two kilometers, roughly 1.7 miles, something like that, still shallow. And guys, I quickly want to show you one chart where I said, I don't think this chart is going to go down. And we see that is the number of earthquakes, the blue chart, um, 
that has gone up. So we have even more earthquakes on September 1st. So what it shows us is that on September 1st, 98 tremors. And then on August 31st, 89. So I was right when I said September 1st will certainly surpass that. And I want to make one thing clear because some things have been rumored around and saying, yeah, unless we see a five, there's no risk for an eruption. And if magma was rising, we would need a five. Um, magma doesn't need to rise to the top to cause devastation because the most likely scenario that the scientists are saying, so if this thing was to produce an eruption and they say this is in the frame of a likelihood, it would be a phreatic eruption without magma, an intensive blast. We've all seen White Island in New Zealand, which would wreak havoc and cause devastation in the red zone off Pozzoli. And the danger thing here is when Monte Nuovo erupted, first there was a phreatic eruption and it seems that has blown away all the obstacles for then a later magmatic eruption to happen. I'm not saying that this will happen again in the same way, but they say a phreatic eruption can happen without warning. And plus the latest studies with that fuse, with that one kilometer and 0.7 mile long crack that is vertical towards the magma chamber that is only at roughly 3.9 kilometers. So they said that in the study, shaking, constant shaking can open that up. And it also told us that there's how much pressure is needed. We now have the numbers. I'll put that video in the end screen. There's not a big pressure increase needed so that that could lead to a disaster. Watch that video. I will keep you updated, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, guys, leave it a like. Hype it if you find the hype button. It's where the comments are. Slash the comments to the site if you have a hype button. Please click it and subscribe. Share it with your friends. And if you want to fill me up with coffee, please go to my buymeacoffee.com slash silky site. The link is in the description of this video. Or click and click the join button to become a supporting member of the channel for behind the scene videos. And thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. Leave me your comments. What would you do if you lived in Pozzoli right now? See you very soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.